Hey, Courtney Smith here, and I want to talk about a fascinating subject. As we know, there's a big boom in commodity prices that's being promoted by the QE2, the quantitative easing. And I believe that that's going to continue. But something interesting is happening around the world, which is going to have a major impact on global economies, and it's not being talked about by anybody at all. Let me show you something here. This is a chart that was in uh, today's Wall Street Journal. Today is November the 4th. A fascinating interactive. You've got to subscribe to the Wall Street Journal, the best newspaper in the world. That's my unsolicited plug. But it's, re it's uh, because of features like this that I love this uh, publication. And what this shows is, is that this shows, uh, if you look right here, we're looking in early 2009. We're going to uh, turn this projector on and we're going to see a little bit of a slideshow. But what this says is that in early 2009, everybody was either cutting rates or they were on hold amid cuts. So there's the United States here. You can see that virtually every country but Russia was cutting rates or holding them after cutting rates. And this was in response, of course, to the financial meltdown of 2008. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is that I'm going to turn this slideshow on. And what you're going to see is something dramatic happen in interest rate policies. Let's take a look and see what happens. I'm going to turn on this projector here and we're going to start to see that there everybody's green in the world in mid 2009 but look at some of the red dots this means that people are starting to raise rates and the significant thing to look at is who is raising rates and the interesting thing is is that if you look closely you'll notice that most of the interest rate rises are commodity producing countries South America with all the grains, uh, Southeast Asia with gold, tin, zinc, palm oil, Australia, Canada, uh, Scandinavia with oil, the Middle East with oil. And so what we're seeing is, is that the big consuming countries of Europe, the United States, and Japan are the main people that have interest rates on hold. Now, the only one that's an anomaly here is really India. But let's leave that one out. Let's focus on the rest of the world. The commodity pro producers, such as Canada, Australia, uh, South uh, uh, America, and Southeast Asia, are raising interest rates because their economies are very strong, but also because inflation is going up because the price of commodities which they produce is going up. This is, a, this is an interesting policy by those countries because it's not going to affect the price of inflation at all because commodity prices are going to continue to boom because of the massive quantitative easing by the Fed. So what you're going to see is, is that those economies, the ones that have the red dots on them, are going to slow but inflation is going to continue to move higher. Inflation is going to continue to move higher because of raw material prices are going to go higher, and those will feed through to all goods and services. In addition, the massive quantitative easing by the Fed is going to affect price levels around the world, even with the relatively tight monetary policy in the ECB and the rising uh, uh, and tightening monetary policy in places like Australia and Canada. Those are small countries, and that's not going to affect the global economy. So look for the QE2 to cause a continued boom in inflation, which will cause these red dot countries to see a continuation of inflation, yet their rising interest rates won't stop inflation, but will actually hurt their domestic economies. The bottom line is it's going to be stagflation in the commodity producing countries. Higher inflation, but the economy will slow, particularly in places like Australia, which are put in their insane taxes. So watch this. This is something that's not being talked about anyplace else in the world, but it's going to have a big impact on those countries. Thanks very much. We'll see you on the next one.